Retro fans, welcome back to RGF Retro Game Force. And you know, Road Rash 2, Road Rash 2 was confirmed to be on the Mega Drive Mini or Genesis Mini. And I remember that I never checked with you guys Road Rash for the Panasonic 3. You know, it's an awesome game with an awesome soundtrack from Soundgarden. And uh, yeah, let's revisit. Road Rash for the Panasonic 3DO. So guys, stay tuned! So what better way to start the video than to show you the physical media? And I'm not the biggest fan of the 3DO boxes, but this one actually looks pretty cool. And because it's mentioned all around the game box, is the soundtrack. This soundtrack is amazing and it won the prize of the best game soundtrack back in 1994 and uh, the game itself comes in with the soundtrack included way before licensed music were a thing. It includes awesome tracks from Soundgarden, Paw, Hummerbox, Monster Magnet, Sewer Driver and yes there were no Spotify here. This includes the real physical CD of the soundtrack. Now back to the game itself. I already mentioned that this was released in 1994 and it's full of 90s cheeseness all over it. Starting with the promotion videos and my god how cheesy these ones can be. Let me show you some good examples. Holy moly, this is awesome. And you can recognize the style if you watch uh, TV series from the 90s. And yeah, this brings back some memories. So, let's watch some more. Now playing real gameplay footage, graphics and presentations were way ahead of its time, a bit like the 3DO console itself. The game makes use of pixel art with texture polygons, giving the impression of real 3D. Polygons, texture map polygons were not really common in 1994. Even worse, on the home console this was quite new and overall the presentation of this game, the graphical presentation, looked astonishing from the era. It really showed to the mass consumer that the new generation of consoles, of home consoles, had already arrived. The soundtrack I already mentioned this in the beginning of the video and it's absolutely amazing. Still there are some tunes, some tracks, when you are racing, that are generated by the sound chip of the 3DO and they are a bit bland, nothing really special. But this, isn't, this doesn't change the fact that this soundtrack, the original soundtrack from Road Rash, is absolutely amazing. The gameplay is not so different from the 16-bit counterpart and that's a good thing. It's a lot of fun to race motorcycles and be able to punch and kick your opponents or even use some weapons at your disposal. And sometimes the police will chase you and you can choose or you run away from it or you can fight back. This is a bit like GTA before GTA was even existing. On the story mode if you want to finish, you need to get the fastest bike as soon as possible and to win you always need to race and fight. Only racing is not enough, you also need to fight a bit your opponents to have a chance. Not to only say good things about the game, I have to mention that the menus, the menus on this game are terrible. So resuming, this Road Rash for the 3DO is a great game and it's screaming for a remake. 
it has all the ingredients. So, Electronic Arts, if you are listening, please bring this one back. I think you will get a lot of money back with it. So, do I recommend you guys to buy a 3DO game and a 3DO console only for Road Rash? I will say no, because Road Rash is also available for the PlayStation 1 and Sega Saturn and it's basically the same game like we see here on the 3DO and these copies are much more cheaper than the 3DO version, for sure. So yet again, another revisit of a classic. And if you enjoyed the video, as usual, please leave me your comments, your likes and subscribe to the channel. And as usual, until the next video, bye bye!